Hey guys and welcome back to my declutter series. So today I'm going to be tackling concealers, foundation, and primers which is over here kind of off the screen. So I have more than I definitely need and I feel like I'm ready to part ways with a lot of these. And um, yeah, so if you're interested to see what I have to declutter and what I'm keeping, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's start with my concealers. The only one I don't have in front of me is the one that I'm working on in my project pan. And obviously, I'm going to keep that and work on that. So, I just figured I wasn't going to show that that one. Um, so, I can for sure know, like right off the bat, that I'm going to get declutter this e.l.f. 16-hour camo. I just cannot get along with this. There's just something about this formula that it just makes my under eyes look so dry and nasty and and just crinkly and wrinkly and yeah i i just don't get along with this concealer definitely don't think it's worth the hype at least not for me so i'm going to pass this guy along to hopefully get used in a better home i know one i'm definitely keeping is my nars um radiant creamy concealer i absolutely love this concealer i think it is definitely worth the hype that it gets on YouTube. I know this is a lot of people's like OG concealer um, and I totally agree. Of course it took me a while to get on the bandwagon but I will definitely repurchase this again once I run out of it um, because I really do enjoy using this concealer. So this one is for sure staying. Next one I will be holding on to is Wet n Wild. I have, let's see what are these shades? Alright, so the top one is light medium beige and the bottom one is fair beige. The only reason why I have the light medium is because when I do decide to tan in the summer, which isn't very often, um, this is a perfect shade match to what I like as far as concealer. So I'm going to hold on to that one and then fair beige fits me year round whether I, um, you know, am in the summer months or winter. This works year round. The only thing I don't like is that you don't get a lot of product on the wand. Um, it's kind of like that Bobbi Brown concealer where not a lot comes off and I feel like I have to constantly like keep reapplying. That's the only thing that kind of, you know, is annoying. But, you know, as far as the price is concerned, I mean, you, you just can't beat this concealer. So I'm going to hold on to this and this will definitely be repurchased. Definitely up there with my NARS one. Really high, highly recommend um, a concealer if you're looking for one in the drugstore. I will say that their shade range isn't the best. Most um, in the drugstore isn't and de definitely definitely check this out if, you, if it comes in your shade um, because it is really nice. So I want to for sure keep this um, instant uh, age rewind uh, from Maybelline. This is their um, like color corrector one, I believe. Yeah, the brightener. I feel like this actually does something. Um, I feel like when I use it, I feel more awake. I look more awake. Um, it does really good under foundation or like under um, concealer. It doesn't make me feel extra dry because I do have pretty dry under eyes. And so, I find that this does really well sitting underneath um, another layer of product. So, I'm going to hold on to this one. Um, the Flower Beauty one I just purchased not too long ago. I haven't even used it. Um, and this is, I think, in their lightest shade. Pretty sure it's like light or something. No, it's L um, It's Fair. I don't think this is fair whatsoever. Um, because if you can look... In comparison to like the Maybelline one, you can de or the L'Oreal one, you can definitely see the difference in the shade. For this to be fair, I I would consider this more of like a light, light medium. So I probably wouldn't be able to use this until the um, summer months if I do decide to tan. Um, so um, I guess I can go ahead and get rid of it, and if I want to repurchase it. When I do decide to self tan, then I can go and repurchase this. Hopefully, they'll come out with an even lighter shade because I just there's no way I can get this to work. As far as these last two, I have the Infallible um, concealer from L'Oreal and then the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, I feel like this shade might be a little bit off. It's eggshell. I feel like it's a little bit too yellowy. 
um, but I can make it work. So I'm gonna hold. Oops, I'm gonna hold on to this one. This one in the um, double wear. I forgot what it was called. I have it in extra light. I feel like it's still a little like something that maybe the undertone is a little bit off. But as you can see, I've definitely used the crap out of this. And I think I'm going to hold on to this and put it into a project pan. Um, because I think I'm about out of the Ulta one that I have in there right now. And so I think I might replace it with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to these. Definitely didn't do too good in that round. But I didn't have a lot to start with. So I feel comfortable with that. Alright, so let's go to uh, primers. So I'm just going to go with these little packets here on top. So this one is the First Light Priming Filter. And then the other one is, um, I think it's an, actually a cream. Yeah, so this is a cream. I don't know why it's over here. So I'm going to probably put this in my bathroom and try it out. Um, as far as the Becca one, I am not going to keep this. Um, I had one, the first lighting primer, in my project pan, and I've used that up already. Not a big fan. I'm not going to torture myself by opening this one, so I'm just going to pass this one along to a new home. Alright, so this is a sample of the um, Optical Illusion by Urban Decay. I freaking love this primer. So it's just in this little tube here. I use it sparingly because I really do enjoy it. It makes my skin so smooth and just, I don't know, something about this primer I absolutely love and adore. And I'm sure it's probably on the pricier side because it is urban, decay, urban decay. But I feel like if I can downgrade my primers enough, I might feel comfortable purchasing the full size. But for right now, I'm going to use this up and, um, yeah, really do enjoy this. Alright, so... I have two of these Tatcha silk canvases. I have one in this little round one and then another one that I haven't even used yet and it's more like an oval or no it's more of, <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was oval but if you could see in comparison this one's obviously a lot smaller, smaller than this one. I have already used this one so if I didn't use this one I would have kept I would keep this one and pass this one along, but I just feel like since I've, you know, stuck my finger in it and that kind of stuff, I don't feel comfortable passing this one along, um, but I can go ahead and pass this one along. Definitely not my favorite type of, of primer. I don't really see what all the hype is. I feel like, I don't know if my skin is just that finicky, but every time I apply this under my foundation, my, it just like lays weird like my foundation like just I, I don't know there's just something about this primer that I just I can't get along with but I feel like I haven't really tested it out enough and like with my holy grail products um so I'm gonna keep trying and seeing if I can make this work but if I ever do actually run out of this I would not repurchase even the like mini travel size nor the full size so um yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and hold on to this one all right so this Farsali like blurring primer or whatever um I just recently purchased this and I've only used it a couple times um I don't really see a whole lot of blurring when I use it but it does work fine um it is pretty pricey for it being like a mini size so, I want to use it a couple more times and see. I mean, it's not bad, but I wouldn't, like, go out of my way to purchase the full size. Um, but I am going to hold on to it for now. Alright, so I have this Physicians Formula Spotlight. It is, like, an illuminating primer. While I do like the way it makes my, like, ooh, I sprayed out a lot. While I do like the way this makes my, like, skin look, like, I mean, it definitely gives you some, like, luminosity. I just don't reach for it anymore. I used to reach for it all the time, and now I just don't find myself reaching for it. And I think it can probably be used, you know, by someone who can appreciate it a little bit more than I have. Um, definitely not bad. 
if you're looking for an illuminating product like this, then give this a try. It does look like it's going to be pretty dark, but I feel like it blends out just enough on the skin that you can't really, like, tell a difference um, as far as, like, shade-wise. But I do like this, and if you're looking for something like this, definitely give this a check. Um, but I just don't use it enough now to justify keeping it in my collection. Okay, <sighs> this thing. So this is the Tarte um, Clean Slate Timeless Soothing Primer. Smoothing. I don't know why I said soothing. Smoothing Primer. And so I bought this because Tati Rays. That's not a hair, by the way. That's just a crack. Um... But anyways, I bought this because Tati raves about how, like, amazing this makes her pores look. And, I don't know, you guys. It's kind of the same thing as, like, the Tatcha. Like, sometimes it can be too finicky for me. And I don't know if it's because I'm using too much or I'm not, like, pressing it into the skin. I find that some days I can make it work and it makes my skin look really nice and my, like, my foundation. Like, I just love the way my base looks. I don't know, I paid an arm and a leg for this. Like, it's not the cheapest considering, you know, what it is. So, I just, but I just can't, I just can't bring myself to part from it. So, I think I'm going to continue to hold on to this one. So, I have this Ulta Beauty Liquid Illuminator. Um, I bought it on clearance, obviously. Still in its packaging. Haven't used it yet. Um, I really do want to use it. I just haven't because I just had too many primers open. Um, so I'm going to hold on to this and give it a try. If it's not something I, you know, particularly like, then I'll pass this one on. But for now, I want to at least try to see what it's like. Okay, so I have this Smashbox uh, primerizer. I've used this maybe twice and... Well, it's not bad, and it definitely does feel, like, nice on the skin. I wouldn't say it's, like, overly moisturizing or, you know, for someone who has dry skin like me. So, I feel like if you have, like, more, like, normal combo, maybe oily, you would like this a lot better. Um, but, I just, I don't know, because I just bought this not too long ago, and it's like, I don't want to get rid of it. Ugh. Okay, I think I'm going to try this a couple more times and see if I'm not using it or reaching for it, then I will definitely pass this along. But it's just too new in my collection to just pass along. I so I have this Wet n Wild Dewy um, uh, Face Primer. I don't really reach for this. I mean, it's kind of like the... Um, Oh my gosh, I keep squeezing so much out of these bottles. Um, it's kind of like the Physician's Formula where it has like a slight like bronzy tint to it. But once you, you know, rub it in, you can't really tell. And it just gives you like this nice like glowy like look to the skin. I just never... I just never reach for it, and honestly, I can just pass it along. I just don't want it to sit there, um, even though I do like these kind of products. If I find that I miss it, and I, or like I'm needing something similar to what it does, then I can always just go back and repurchase this, since it, you know, it's very affordable. So, for that reason, I'm just going to go ahead and pass this one along. Alright, so the last three products... Two is from the uh, Touch and Soul, so I have the um, No Pore Brum Primer that I got in a boxy charm, and then actually I got all three of these in a boxy charm or like a boxy lux. Um, and the other one is the um, No More Pore Brum like Prime Essence. I have not used this once. Have not used it once. I'm honestly kind of scared to. <laughs> And then this other one I have is the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil from Wonder Beauty. I did use this when we got it in BoxyCharm. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it seems fine. Uh, uh, I don't know what to do. Why is this so hard? Alright, since I haven't 
use this I think I can pass on the Wander Beauty one and keep the two no more uh, no more problem uh, poor, poor I don't know why I cannot say this but I'm gonna hold on to these two and pass the Wonder Beauty one along all right so I actually found two more in my everyday like storage bin over there so I have the Bobby Brown vitamin and rich face base I love this stuff I'm going to hold on to it till the end of time um, as you can see I've used quite a bit of product and um, I absolutely love this and I'm going to keep it and use it all the way up and I will probably end up repurchasing this at some point um, once I completely use it up all right lastly I have this Revlon Rose Glow it's essentially the same thing as like the Wonder Beauty um, like it has the same like pink tint to it and the luminosity um, and obviously this is a lot of more affordable um, to get your hands on I absolutely love this stuff obviously <laughs> um, I mean it's in my everyday makeup drawer so um, I'm going to hold on to this one for sure definitely worth giving it a try um, if this is like a kind of primer you're looking for um, I do recommend picking this up so didn't do too good on that one either looks like we're getting ready getting looks like we're getting rid of one two three four five six seven and we're keeping one two three four five six seven eight well it's not too bad and most of these are like mini so i don't feel too bad keeping them okay so i clearly have a problem with pouring foundations um so let's definitely cut this oops let's cut this way 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 down so let's go ahead and start with like these little sample ones let's scoot these on the back so I have three of these sample ones like in the cardboard and then one sample of these so this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked the new one this one and this one actually and um, none of these are even like the shade that I was like shade matched to at Sephora. Um, if you watched my first impressions of like my haul video, you would know I'm not a, the biggest fan of this. I just don't understand the hype. I didn't like the way it said. I didn't like the way it wore. Um, and so I'm not gonna even bother like messing with these. Um, I'm just gonna keep this little container in here, and like I like to reuse these, so I'm gonna keep that and reuse these, and then see if maybe someone. Um, was wanting to give it a try and they match to these then um you know maybe they might you know like it and want to pick it up but you know i just uh no not a big fan so decluttering those and then next up is the beauty blender bounce so i know this is a very like <laughs> controversial brand um but i have been interested in trying it out um, I know Tati likes this foundation. I don't know if these are going to be like a shade match. I highly doubt it. This one looks definitely way like way too dark. Um, but I'll I'll give it a go and see and then see if anyone I know um, you know will shade match these. If not, then I I mean I, f I don't feel bad for throwing them out because they're just samples. Um, so. I'm going to give it a go and see. Maybe I'll go to a Sephora and get shade matched and just get a sample that way. Um, but at least this gives me a way to test out the formula. Whether the shade is a match or not, it still gives me a pretty good idea of how the formula is going to be. Um, so I'm going to hold on to this and give it a try. And then the last one of these is the, what is this, the Milk Flex Foundation Sticks. So, I don't know how I feel about this. Me and stick foundations don't necessarily get along. The hourglass stick foundation, the vanish stick, look like crap on my skin. So, I don't know. I'm hesitant, but I'm curious at the same time. So, I'm going to give it a go and see, like, how the formula, like, works with my skin. And then go from there. But, I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and keep this and just give it a try. Alright, so I have this IT Cosmetics uh, Confidence in a Compact. 
Um, if you watched my haul video, you know I purchased this at uh, TJ Maxx. I still haven't opened it yet and gave it a shot. Um, I just didn't want to open it because, I mean, clearly I have a problem. And I didn't want it to go to waste. So I'm going to hold on to this and hopefully I can get rid of enough that I can open this and give it a try. And if I don't like it or it just doesn't match, then I will pass it along. But until then, I'm going to hold on to this one. Let's go with one I know I can get rid of. Alright, so I have a, two of these um, Fit Me, Dewy, and Smooth. And then, let's see, I'm trying to pull out the ones that I used the self tanner. So you can just go ahead and get those out of the way. Alright, so I have two of the Dewy and Smooth, one of the Revlon Airbrush Effect. Uh, the LA Colors Truly Matte and the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. Um, I was testing these out when I was fake tanning during the summer. Um, I could never get my tan or like a right shade um, in the Light Illusion to go with my tan and their lightest shade is still too dark. Um, I think that's what this one is. It's soft, no, it's the Soft Sand, sand M2. Could not figure out what shade I was in the in this foundation when I had a tan and the lightest shade is still too dark like the concealer. So I'm going to pass this along. Hopefully they expand their shade range because I really, really want to give this a try. I hear so many people raving about it, but I just cannot find my shade. Alright, so this Revlon airbrush um, was given to me. Uh, I tried this once and I wasn't a huge fan of it. The color's kind of off. I don't know if you can kind of tell. It's definitely more on the pinkier side. I feel like it was kind of too pink for me. Um, so I'm going to pass this along and see if someone else can get a better use out of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the Dewy and Smooth. I couldn't figure out which shade it was so I bought 130 and 220. I'm thinking the 130. 30 was the one that I could get away with um, but I don't need to and I can't remember which one and honestly the LA Colors one here hands down the best one out of all of them that I had shown so I'm going to go ahead and pass these along but I am going to keep the LA, Color, LA Colors one I picked this up at the Dollar General um, I do want to pick up the shade that I usually am without self tan because I actually really liked the finish. It wasn't like super matte and like drying. It was like a nice satin finish and it wore so nicely. Truly a hidden gem at the dollar store. So I would highly recommend giving this a go. I think this is like five or six dollars and they're always on sale at my dollar store. So you might be able to get it even cheaper than that. So I'm going to hold on to this one. let's talk about the two stick foundation zone so I have the revolution um, what is this fast ba uh, yeah fast basic foundation in f1 and then I have the wet and wild Fo photo focus one in shell ivory never was a good shade match in this one um, when I first tried it out I really did enjoy the way it looked but but the more I used it and, you know, saw how it truly wore on my skin, I haven't touched it since. I haven't touched it in a pretty long while and I just don't ever feel the need to reach for this. So I'm going to pass this one along. However, this one is an actual recent purchase. Um, I had to replace the last one I had. My son got a hold of it and, like, yeah, it was destroyed. So I do enjoy this one. It's not something I reach for every day. I feel like it can be quite heavy, so it just kind of depends on the look I'm going for. Um, but I do enjoy this one, and it's not, and it's pretty affordable at Ulta. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. All right. So this survived my last foundation declutter, and um, I still haven't used it. Then <laughs> it's the Alme My Best um, Light. And it's like one of those color adjusting foundations. So it l looks um, white when you initially pour it out. And then once you blend it in, it's supposed to, I don't know, 
match you or something. I, so, I mean, there's like hardly any coverage. And if I want a BB cream or CC cream, I'd probably try the new, is it the Maybelline or the L'Oreal, like, um, a foundation or, um, I don't know, a, a, a BB cream. But this just, I don't know, when I rubbed it out, it looked like it was going to be too dark. And honestly, if I haven't really short in like over a year, I'm not going to. So I can pass this one along. So I have this Believe Beauty in what shade is this I'm not quite sure what shade I definitely know it's the lightest or oh wait there is porcelain staring me right in the face um I, I don't like this foundation <laughs> I don't like the way it sits I don't like the way it wears I'm not a big fan of this I know there was a lot of like you know talk about this brand when it first launched in the Dollar General and honestly since I I mean I've only worn it maybe a handful of times and didn't like it any time so I feel pretty comfortable letting this one go and if I ever wanted to you know give a try later down the road then it's you know easily accessible and you know affordable so I can go ahead and pass this one along Alright, so let's talk about the infallible fresh wear from L'Oreal. I have two 400s. No, you can't see that. <laughs> there you go. I have two 400s and 410. I'm pretty sure they make a 405, but I couldn't find it. So I've been mixing 400 and 410. I haven't. I don't know why I have two 400s. I can't remember. Um, but I do mix the 400 and the 410 together. So, I feel comfortable letting go one of the 400s, obviously. I just gotta figure out which one I have used more of and let go of the other one. Um, so, yeah, gonna keep two, get rid of one. Alright, so I have a two more foundations here I haven't used. So, I have the, pour, the, pour, <laughs> the Pure 4 in 1 Love Your Selfie in the shade LN2. And then I have the next Born to Glow um, in the shade Light Porcelain. I haven't given these a go yet just because I didn't want to open up another foundation. So now that I've let some go, I can probably open one of these and give it a go. Um, I haven't swatched them, so I'm not quite sure which, you know, if they're good shade matches yet. Um, but... I've been wanting to try these for a while now and I've been holding back, but now I can finally give them a go. So holding on to these. Alright, so let's talk about some that are probably the oldest in my um, collection. So I have the Laura Mercier in the shade 1C1 Shell and the Crim Shop uh, Match Made Luminous Foundation in the shade 12. So these two are not the best shade matches. They definitely pull more yellow. Um, even the whole shade range of this pulls yellow, so they had a pretty hard time matching me at Sephora, and the cream shop didn't have a lot of shade selection in store, I don't know about online, um, so, I don't know, I feel like I don't have that much left of the Laura Mercier, and I kind of want to, like, try to use it all, but I know I've had it for so long. I don't know. I don't know what to do. See, you can even tell there. But there's no way. Like, why did I, like, buy that and try to wear it? There's no way that's that's my shade. Or, like, will ever be my shade. Okay, let's just... This one... I should probably just toss both of these out. And I think that's what I'm going to do. And you can, t like, see the separation going on in this foundation. Um, but I did use it a lot. And, uh, yeah, I think it's just time to throw these away because they are pretty, pretty old. This is my LA Girl Pro Coverage. It's actually, um, a foundation, but I use this, it's the white shade, as, like, a mixer to lighten up foundations. Um, I probably could have used this in the last two that I showed you, but the undertone was just too off that it wouldn't have made a difference whether I lightened it or not. Um, but if you can find a shade that has a pretty good undertone, um, that matches you, then this would be a great mixer to try to lighten it up. So I'm going to hold on to this one. This right here is probably 
my holy grail foundation it's the nars natural radiant longwear in the shade mont blanc it is maybe half a shade too dark but i feel like i can pull it off with like concealer and everything um so not a perfect shade match but it works i can make it work and as you can clearly see i use the crap out of this foundation i love 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 this foundation and i will continue to repurchase this once i run out um I just, I love the way it sits, I love the way it wears, I love the coverage, it's not too full coverage, but it's not too light of coverage, like, I, I just, yes, I love this, and this is in my everyday drawer, my go-to when I know I need something that's not going to, uh, do me dirty, this is it right here, so, holding on to that. Alright, Soap and Glory Kick-Ass. Only reason why I purchased this is because I found out that it's sister company, um, is going out for some strange reason. I cannot remember what it's called. Um, but this is supposedly the same exact formula found of the foundation, like the same ingredients and everything. I mean, it's a sister company, so it makes sense that they would do that. Um, I've only used it maybe two or three times, so I'm not quite sure how I feel. I felt like one time I used it, I didn't like the way my makeup looked, and the then the next time I used it, I did. So, I'm not sure if this is just a finicky product or what it is, but I haven't really formed an opinion to whether I like it or not. So, I'm going to hold on to this and try it a few more times. And if I just can't get along with it, I'm passing it on. Alright, Estee Lauder Double Wear. I really do enjoy this. I have it in the shade 1C0 Shell. It's a little slightly off, but I can definitely make it work with the matching concealer. And I love the coverage. If you need a full coverage, lock in place, here you go. <laughs> so, definitely going to hold on to this. I do enjoy it. I don't wear it too often because it can clog up my pores. Just because, I mean, it is full coverage, baby. But... I do use it when I know I need it to last. If I'm going out and I need it to last and I need my makeup to look good for pictures or whatever it may be, this right here, yes, keeping. And then lastly, I have the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I don't like this foundation. I don't know why I still have this in my collection. I don't like it. I just cannot get it to work. It just looks heavy and cakey and just drying and I just no I don't like this don't know why I still have it in my freaking collection time to go see you later declutter all right so I feel like we did pretty good in that round like we are getting rid of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven full and two um like of a sample so not bad and then we're keeping one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so was that about even yeah so uh, we broke even and then i have two of these little sample ones and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this declutter Hopefully it wasn't too long and boring for you guys. Make sure you uh, give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell down below so you're notified when I upload another video. I think my next declutter we're going to work on um, powders and setting spray. And yeah, until next time guys. See ya!